How can we use digits and place value to show how many buttons there are? In this lesson, you will learn how to identify place value by counting objects in groups of 10. Let's review. Our number system is made of 10 digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Each digit has its own place value in a number. Let's also review what we already know about groups of 10. Look at the base 10 blocks. Individual cubes each represent one. When we have 10 ones, we can combine them together to make one 10. 10 ones equal one group of 10. You have already worked with two digit numbers like 44. Remember, each digit has a different place value. The digit 4 on the left is in the tens place. This tells us there are four groups of 10. The last digit 4 is on the right in the ones place. This tells us that there are four ones. There are four groups of 10 and four ones in the number 44. Here we have a collection of chocolate chip cookies. We need to find out how many cookies are here. There are different ways to count these cookies. We can count the cookies one by one, but when we do that, we often lose our place and have to start over. We could also count by twos or fives, but I think there is a better way for counting this large amount. If we combine these cookies in groups of 10 like this, we can easily count by tens to see how many cookies are here. Let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Wow, there are 100 cookies here. I wonder how many groups of 10 equal 100. Let's count each group of 10 to find out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It takes 10 groups of 10 to equal 100. Here we have another collection of cookies. This time the cookies have been put on plates in groups of 10. This means each plate has 10 cookies. Since we know 10 groups of 10 equals 100, we can combine these 10 plates together to represent a group of 100. Now we have one group of hundreds, two groups of tens, and four ones. Let's count the cookies. We will start with 100. 100. The next group is a group of tens, so we will count from 100 by tens. That makes 110, and then another group of 10 makes 120. Then we have four individual cookies, so we will count on from 120 by ones, 121, 122, 123, 124. We have 124 cookies. Remember in this three digit number, each digit has its own place value. The digit one is in the hundreds place, letting us know that there is one group of hundreds. The digit 2 is in the tens place, letting us know that there are two groups of 10. The digit 4 is in the ones place. That lets us know that we have four ones. Here are some shelves in a grocery store. Your job is to count the cans on the shelves. Each shelf has 10 cans. Remember, we know 10 groups of 10 equals 100. Look. We can combine 10 groups of 10 to show 100. Now we have one group of 100, five groups of 10, and six individual cans. Let's count the cans. We'll start with 100, then we have five groups of 10. So if we count on from 100, that will be 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. Now we have six individual cans, so we'll count on from 150 by ones. 151, 152, 153, 154, 155, 156. 
We have 156 cans. This is a three digit number. Remember, each digit has its own place value. The first digit, one, is in the hundreds place. It tells us how many groups of hundreds there are in the number. In this number, there is only one group of hundreds. The next digit, five, is in the tens place. It tells us there are five groups of ten in this number. The last digit is six. It is in the ones place. It tells us that there are six ones in the number 156. In this lesson, you have learned how to identify place value by counting objects in groups of ten.